Hi everyone, alright, so in today's video we're going to be talking about upscaling, denoising and sharpening. Now a lot of 3D programs already include their own denoises, but what's awesome about using this artificial intelligence from Topaz Gigapixel and Topaz Denoise is the fact that you actually get to upscale your image. So where does this come in handy? This basically means that you can render an image at a fairly low resolution and then you can actually upscale that to something like 4K. 8K or even 16K and it's going to preserve those details, it's going to denoise your image and even sharpen it to bring back some of the, the information. So it's a very, very interesting and super fun way to speed up your workflow. I highly recommend this for anyone who doesn't have a beefy GPU and if you do have a fast GPU, this is going to make the process of creating those final images even quicker. So without further ado, let's cover these programs and I'm going to give you a full review. Okay, so this video is focused primarily on 3D artists and I'm going to give you a real world example. So this is a project I finished with Cinema 4D and Octane Render and now I want to go ahead and save out this image but I don't want to render this out at 4K because with a single GTX 970 that's going to take forever. So we're going to be going the upscaling route. So I've decided to put my resolution on 1 to 8 by 1 to 8 That's going to be perfectly fine and I'll be able to upscale this image and preserve all of the details. But something very important you need to take notice of whether you're doing this at a lower resolution or a high resolution is that you want to allow at least a minimum amount of samples. So I've put 500 samples on this image and it's done its best to remove as, mu as much noise as possible but there's still a little bit of noise on the image but that should still be fine. So that's very important. If there's too much noise on your source image and we take that over to Topaz, we're going to be basically become way too reliant on Topaz's denoising algorithm to get rid of that noise for us and it might look really strange. So just make sure you at least remove some of the noise on your image where it looks just fairly clean and I noticed from trial and error that this is when you're going to get the best results when it comes to actually upscaling this image and preserving all of that information. Okay, so once you've done that, you can save out your image and we can head over to Topaz Gigapixel. Okay, so open up Topaz Gigapixel and using this program is incredibly easy. So I'm actually going to drag and drop my source image that I rendered out directly into Topaz Gigapixel. Now on the right hand side, this should automatically be ticked, which gives you a real time preview of what's actually happening to your image. You can see it's generating a preview over here. If I start moving around on my image, I can see how this algorithm is actually working. So here at the bottom, you can see since we've got a face in our scene, there's even an option for face refinement. So I've actually turned that on and it runs a separate algorithm that focus, focuses primarily on any faces that might be visible. Now I can actually just go ahead over here and just zoom out a little bit so we can see what's happening. And now let's pay attention over here to the size. We can see this is at 2560 by 2560. So the original size is 1280. So right now this is upscaling it by times two. And this is what I'm talking about where we have the power of upscaling is that this image practically looks exactly the same as 1 to 8 except the resolution has been doubled. And we've got these other sliders over here, right? We've got suppressed noise uh, where the algorithm is trying its best to, you know, suppress some of the additional noise that might be visible on your image. So you can play around with that slider. Obviously increasing the value means that it's suppressing more noise. Decreasing that brings back some of the noise that was on your source image. And the remove blur feature does exactly what it says. If there's any blur that you want to remove and actually sharpen certain areas of the image, then you'll basically increase the slider to increase the amount of sharpen on your image. So very, very basic stuff. And then we also have this image type. By default, it's on natural. And I find that natural gives you the best results when it comes to, you know, using this algorithm. Man-made, I feel like it applies way too much sharpen onto your source image. You'll see over here if I put that on man-made. And maybe you like those results, but I feel like an image with too much sharpen just starts to look very unnatural. And I don't really use this. So you can see with man-made, it's really applied a lot of sharpen onto this image. So I usually, I usually just leave this on natural and we are good to go. So you can see we're getting some fantastic results over here. It's upscaling it twice. So we're getting double the resolution. I can go all the way up. I can do this four times, six times. Or if I click on this box over here, let me just let the preview finish generating. If I click on this box, I can put in a default value. So if you want to print this image, you can see the maximum is 25. If I want to print this image and maybe put it on the moon at 32,000 by 32,000, I'm capable of doing that. So you can you can start reaching insane resolutions. You can see this algorithm's even been handling some of the hair over here really nicely 
Over here, it looks a little bit blurry, but because of this remove, blur, and sharpen, it's actually sharpened this part of the hair and brought back some of that detail. So it's basically upscaling the image, sharpening it, applying a little bit of denoise, and it's making the image look even better than the source image, in my opinion. So that's fantastic. We get the exact same image at double the resolution. And this is exactly why I love uh, upscaling. I think this saves you so much time. Instead of me waiting for a four, uh, 4K render or 2K render to render out of Cinema 4D, I can just upscale that image and get the same quality, or what I, what I, what I consider to be even better quality than the original. Now remember that Gigapixel uses your GPU, so you can see the updating time over here in my preview window with a 970 is still quite fast, so I can imagine this with a RTX 3090 or 3080, that doing this process would be lightning fast. So once you're done, all you have to do is just click on save. Obviously you can go ahead, choose a name over here, I'll just call this upscale new and you can choose your directory where you want to save this. I'm, pres I'm going to preserve the source profile. Right, so the original source profile and the original image format, and then you can go ahead and click on save. And then we're basically done with Gig Gigapixel. You've upscaled your image, you applied some noise and some sharpen on there. But if you want to push it just a little bit further, we can open up another program by Topaz Labs called Topaz Denoise. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this, and I'll open up Topaz Denoise. Okay, so another program that you can pair with Gigapixel if you want finer control over the denoising is to use Topaz Denoise. So I'm gonna drag and drop my upscaled image into Topaz Denoise. This is automatically ticked, which means that it's already applying the denoising algorithm onto our upscaled image. So what's cool about this is you get some additional sliders. You obviously get to remove the noise, which is this denoising feature. And Another awesome thing about this program is that you get this masking feature, so you can basically tell the program where you want the denoising algorithm to be applied. So just to show you this, I'm actually going to increase the denoise value quite high, and you'll notice on this part of this image over here, the skin is going to get really smooth. You know, it's denoising this entire region and making the skin very, very smooth, which looks quite unnatural, actually. So you have to use this with caution because you can get really strange results, and I tend to you know, leave some imperfection or some noise on my images just to get away from that 100% perfect looking CG image. Anyway, here's the denoising effect, but now let's say that I want the denoising to not be visible on this part of the face. All I have to do is click on mask and select subtract. So the, as soon as I left click over here, the entire image turns red and whatever is red is where the denoising algorithm is actually being affected. So as long as I keep left clicking over here and painting away on these regions, I'm basically telling the program that I don't want the denoising to affect this area. So I'll just do that quickly. And now you remember that this region was very, very smooth. Now if I click on Apply Mask, you can see it brought back some of the original source image detail. So it gives you that freedom to choose where you want the denoising to be applied. Now in this case, it's with a human, so it's actually taking like the skin detail and the pores and it's it's applying this really strange smoothing effect to it. But if you do have noise in your image, uh, in, you know, some very visible noise, then you can definitely uh, use this program to get rid of it. And yeah, that's basically it. You can also recover some of the original detail from the source image. So you can blend between the two, blend between the algorithm and the original source image detail. I have never used the AI clear feature and the low light feature, I'm assuming is for low light photography, stuff like that. I usually just use the denoise AI and it works 100% of the time. So if you want some finer control over the denoising and having uh, access to this masking feature, then you can decide if you think denoise would come in handy for you, or if you feel like Gigapixel does everything you needed to do, then you're basically done with Gigapixel. But I thought I would just cover Topaz denoise as well. So pretty cool program and it's good for denoising. Okay, so that covers the entire process of upscaling, sharpening, and denoising. But I also want to mention something else. If you guys are doing videos, you can actually use Gigapixel to upscale and denoise and sharpen an image sequence. So this was an image sequence I saved out of Cinema 4D. And the original resolution over here was at 2560 by 1440. So let's say I actually want to upscale these images. I can do exactly that. So I can just go to open. And if I go to the folder over here, 
because you can do batch processing with Gigapixel. I just select the first frame, go down to the bo bottom, hold down shift and select the last frame and then click on open. So it, it imports all of those images into Gigapixel. And then just like I showed you earlier in the video where we can suppress the noise and all of that, uh, you can do that and it applies those settings onto every single frame. So you don't have to go and change the settings for each individual image over here. It already knows that this is an image sequence and once you're done, you can see over here, you've got the start batch processing. So you would click on that uh, over here, your prefix. Actually, I, I don't even put a suffix over here. I just leave that blank because sometimes it can mess up the number order of your image sequence. You can just put a prefix like forest or whatever your, your animation is called and then choose a directory and save that out. So yes, you can upscale your videos as well using Gigapixel AI. If you've saved out an image sequence where you can upscale it, you can see this is now going to put it at 5,120 uh, by, two, by 2880 uh, from the original resolution. So that's really cool. It's applying some denoising, applying some sharpening, and I can see the before and after over here. I can already see that this tree with the denoising looks a lot sharper than the image on the left. So that's fantastic that you can do this with videos as well. But Topaz does have its own dedicated program for videos. It's called Topaz Video Enhance. If you want to use a program that's dedicated to upscaling videos, you can check that out. But I did want to mention that you can upscale an image sequence with Gigapixel as well and just save it out with batch processing. All right, guys, so if you like the software, then definitely head on over to topazlabs.com. And what's awesome about this company is that they offer free trials for their programs. So you can head on over to downloads and free trials. And you'll see over here that this is available for both Windows and Mac. And here are the programs that I was using, Gigapixel AI and Denoise AI. So you can go ahead, download that. I think the trial is for 30 days. So give the program a try. If you like it, buy it. It's completely up to you. I've put some links in the description in the top comment so that you can get your hands on this awesome software. I showed you how beneficial upscaling can be. So go ahead and give the software a try. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. I showed you how useful upscaling can be. So this was the best case scenario for me. This was for, for a client and where I reached hardware limitations, but upscaling really saved the day for me. And I found that this was the best case scenario. I actually rendered out my original image from Octane Render at 4K resolution with 1000 samples to try and get rid of as much noise as possible. And I upscale this all the way up to 16K and you can see that the quality is still holding up and the image over here at 16K looks absolutely superb. Everything is nice and crisp and clear and the upscaling really uh, took full advantage of the 4K image. I also tried this with some other resolutions. I tried this with a 1080p to 4K and I got some pretty interesting results as well. You can see it's still preserving all of those details. I even went as low as 640 uh, by 360 at 1000 samples and it upscaled that as well. And over here, the artificial intelligence was trying its best to fill in the blanks and it still tried to create this representation of detail over here. So if you may be working with a client and you want to give them, you know, an upscaled or higher risk version of a work in progress, this is a nice uh, workaround as well, where you can render it at a very low resolution and just upscale that to 4K. And then this was using the Topaz Denoise that I showed you as well. So the original image had quite a bit of noise on it. And over here, I ran it through Topaz Denoise and it really cleaned the surface and made it quite smooth. So you can see just how powerful these two programs are if you use them together, or maybe you just find Gigapixel to be enough uh, for your entire workflow. But upscaling images has really come in handy for me, and hopefully you can see how powerful this can be. So anyway, that's the end of the tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials. You guys are super awesome. I truly appreciate the support on this channel, and thank you for watching, and goodbye.